green lights are on and down they come off that corner, off a of turn four and down the front straightaway. Mike Bruce on the bottom part of the speedway goes up to the number one spot. Barry Kingsley, Carnival 91. And look at who's gunning up to the number three spot. It's Mike Bond. Bond now goes from the inside to the outside, now to between turns number three and four. Bondi drops the hammer, coming down the front straightaway. He is up to the number two spot. He turns the quickest lap with a 19,494. The leader is Mike Bruce coming down off of turn number two. Mike Bond does not want to waste any time moving up to the number three spot. Tyler Schulich, car number 67. It's Schulich coming off of turn two, but Bondi muscles up some horsepower down the back straightaway. And they are in the rip of it, coming down out of turn number four. Down the front straightaway they come. It is Schulich second, Bond is third. The leader is Mike Bruce. He can't see any of this, but he can hear it. And now here is Schulich, bottom part of the speedway. Drops to the inside, and he is now in the number one spot. Coming down onto the inside, it's Mike Bond. Bond takes a look onto the inside, but no, check that. Bondy remaining back there in the number three spot. But turning the quickest lap on that last lap in an 18.940, the only 18 second lap, Mike Bond, and he's got some heat in those Hoosier tires as they come working down. A couple of cars coming together here in the front straightaway. It's Danny Kay and Mike Bruce, I believe, coming together. He's for the number one spot. And here's Danny Kay. Danny again pulls right down into the inside. And Danny Kay pulls up to the number three spot in the double O car. Schulich up there on the top side. Mike Bond second. Danny Kay is now solid in the number three spot. The 88 spinning up in turn number four, bringing the caution up. Mike Bruce was fourth, but I see him out of the lineup. I don't know what happened. Barry Kingsley will now move up to the number four spot. Here is Mike Bond going up onto the outside. He pulls right up onto the outside. They come down to between the corners off a of turn number four and down the front straightaway. Whoa, this is going to be a wild one. There's two laps to go. Mike Bond trying every trick in the book. Schulich holding on to the number one spot. Schulich a little bit, and Bond backs out of it at the three-quarter point in the back straightaway. White flag is going to be coming out this time around. Bond gathers it all up. The white is on the speedway racing surface right now. They race down into turn number one, ready to come out of turn number two. Three-quarter point in the back straightaway. Bondi is going to give it that one more try. Score! Stand by. Here they come out of turn number four. Schulich will take the win coming down the front straightaway. Tyler with a good run. Mike Bond second. Danny Kane third. Andrew Shardner fourth. Joe, I'm not sure this car would have made another lap. There's water all over it. But ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Tyler Schulich. A driver's first win is very special. Let's help him make that night special for him. How's that? Oh, man, Mike Bond, he's, uh, he is the best around this place. And uh, I knew when uh, he got bottled up behind the 22, uh, I knew my shot was present. I had to take it. And uh, if I ended up off in the foam or ahead of him, you know, that's the shot I had to take to win. And uh, that was, uh, I could see every glimpse every once in a while. Uh, he was, uh, he was right there and he's trying to the outside getting into one and I really didn't expect him off of four but kind of took my breath when I seen him and uh, I, whew, he's the best on the outside and I, I don't, honestly I have no idea how, how we held him off. No, not quite. Tyler was fast and I congratulations to them guys. Some guys have been working hard. Uh, that car was pretty good. I was just hoping to caution a little bit earlier there and it could have worked on him a little bit more. No. Yeah, I wanted to win tonight for James Schutz but uh, Came up a little bit short. I'll take another top three. Um, it jumped out of gear on the last restart, so that those guys kind of got a little bit of a leg on me, and then I felt like I could kind of hold steady with them. I wouldn't have had anything for them. It was a great race to watch, and we're doing our best. Coming off the corner, green flag is out, and Bellinger gets the job. Thompson drops down to the number two spot. Here's Iosu going to the outside. Dancer moves up to fourth. Gosick rounding out the top five. Keith Champagne on the outside. Now going around Thompson in that number two spot, taking over the number two spot. Coming down the front straight. Bellinger, Iosu, Thompson, Dancer, and Gosick, the top five. There is Champagne right behind him saying, man, I'm enjoying this show. This is fantastic.
Gosick now drifts a little bit outside. Here comes Schulich, or Sitterly down on the inside. Sitterly goes on by Gosick. Schulich can't follow him through. Sitterly takes over the number five spot. Otto Sitter now in top five. Here comes Schulich on the inside of Gosick. He moves up to six. Gosick battling back on the outside. That's not going to work. Champagne running back there in seven. And Sitterly gets by the 52 of Danzer. Now working on the slower cars. Back on the back straight. In turn three. Here's Ioso on the outside of Bellinger. Ioso and Bellinger. Ioso takes the lead. But they've got more slower cars ahead. LeVay Sr., LeVay Jr. And Danny Connor is all just ahead of the leaders. Early on the outside, Schulick on the outside. He goes by Dancer. Sitterly takes over third and hard into the wall. Hard into the wall over there. Two cars and oil fire on one of them. Red flag is coming out. Ayusu. Eric Ayusu in the number 11. That was the car that was on fire. He's getting out of the car. He is okay. Goes by Dancer. So after one lap, a little bit of a lineup shakeup. Here is Otto Sinderly on the outside of Tyler Thompson. Outside of Tyler Thompson, he takes the number two spot. Sinderly now running second. Thompson is third. Schulich in fourth. Dancer rounds out the top five. Here's Schulich underneath Thompson. He loses one spot to Sinderly on the outside. Then he loses one to Schulich on the inside. Here is Sinderly now coming to work on the 0-2 of Brandon Bellinger. Bellinger out in front. Sinderly right there in the number two spot. Sinderly working hard to come around. Bellinger goes to the outside. Can't do it out there. And Schulich gets through him on the inside. Schulich takes over the number two spot. As Latulip. Goes to the outside, passes two cars. Now here's Bellinger. Here comes Schulich down to the inside, and he makes the move. He knew it was going to happen. He had held the tulip between him and uh, Bellinger and got by Bellinger to take over the lead. Schulich out in front. Yellow flag is out into the wall. Is Gosick in the double zero? Joe Gosick, he's moving around the car. He is okay. I don't know what happened. I don't know if he backed it in or not, but by the looks of the skid marks, he didn't have any front end when he was going into the wall, something like Danny Connors. And Schulich is smoking a little bit. Schulich is showing some smoke. And Hamilton going around some of the slower cars. Not sure what is going on with the deuce of Schulich as he's got six laps remaining now. Six to go. Doesn't look too bad. Meanwhile, the battle for second continues with Bellinger and Sitterly behind LeVay and Connors. Sitterly trying to get to the inside. Bellinger lost the ground a little bit, and Sitterly had a back out. He had a run going, but had a back out or hit Bellinger. Now he goes to the outside, trying to go around Brandon. Bellinger, white flag had been out. The checkered flag is out. Otto just almost cost himself third spot. He let off, maybe he ran, no, he would have run out of fuel. They just allowed refueling. Ladies and gentlemen, the Novello Super Modified winner in the Grand Prix at Oswego Speedway, Dave Schulich. Um, when we're going, it's not bad. When we're sitting, uh, it's torture. But, um, you know, luckily they let us take our helmets off there. Um, this is a good way to come back after a couple weeks ago, and um, motions ran high, and, uh, you know, it was really a hard battle between all three of us, and it was just... Uh, that's what I really enjoy doing, is racing hard like that, and uh, nobody touched anybody. That's the way to be. Well, I, we actually got a different setup in the car than we've had the last few nights. Um, I, I think we just need another week to play with it a little more and get dialed in. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. We were close all night, but we just need just a little bit more speed. But I, I think give us, give us a week to think about it. I, I think we can come up with some more speed. Yeah, I mean, we were just so equal. His car was doing about the same as mine. He looked like he was tight, and we were tight, and uh, he runs a good groove, and just hard to get around, especially if you're not right on the money to, to drive around somebody. So we'll take a, you know, we had a decent night tonight. We're not hanging our heads. Yeah.